Bora, Zu. Welcome to today's lesson on how to play Supersonic by Oasis. So, today I'm going to go through the kind of the rhythm part. So, basically everything but the two bits of solo. So, we're going to be going through the chords and also the riffs that are played over the top of those chords. Try and get through it without taking up too much time. As usual, um, actually you'd probably be playing a Les Paul, maybe like a... 3-3-5 uh, three, three, style guitar, obviously I've got my Strat again today because I love my Strat, but uh, yeah, that's the kind of tone you'd be going for. So let's waste no time and crack on with the intro. So the intro, so there are a couple of guitars going on through this bit, we're going to concentrate on the kind of the lead line um, played by Noel Gallagher. So let's get started, so the first chord shape is one if, if you've done some other Oasis songs before, you, you might recognise from some other tracks, okay? It's actually an F sharp minor 11, I think it's Dixie's Dinner he uses it, anyway, my mind's gone blank as to which one, I think it's Dixie's Dinner, anyway, let's just crack on. Uh, fourth fret on the A string with your ring finger, uh, fourth fret on the D string with your pinky, and then second fret on the G string with your first finger, okay? You could get your thumb over the top to get the root note, but obviously we don't need that at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it as an arpeggio, I'm going to play the A string, then the D string, then the G string, okay? Then I'm going to pick up from the high E string, E, B, G. Okay, so. Then I'm going to play the A and the D together, fourth fret, then open. Same strings, A and the D, open. Then I'm going to play an A sus2. Then I'm going to play an open A string, then I'm going to play the top part of a B7. So that's second fret on the A, first fret on the D, second fret on the G. That's it. That's the riff. You basically do that four times. Yeah? And that's, a, that's, and that's effectively the intro. Beautiful intro. Love that. So let's crack on with the verse sections. So... With the verse sections, actually just as we're finishing up the intro and we hit that B7 chord, the top part of the B7 chord there, uh, the lyric I believe is, I need to be myself. And on that we're going to play the first of our riffs, there's only two, um, this is the first one. I'm going to bend the second fret on the A string. I'm actually going to do this with my first finger most of the time, but you could do it with your middle finger as well, whichever you prefer. Quick bend down and back up again, so it's second fret A string, tonally I'm, I'm getting the C note there which is third fret, so I'm going then open A, then fourth fret on the D, okay, and that's the riff, that comes in as you, uh, I need to would be, I need to, and as you hit two you hit that note basically, I can't sing but you get the idea, uh, you hold that note there, fourth fret on the D string across the next bar and a half, and then you're going to play this, seventh fret on the high E string, Sixth fret on the B, fifth fret on the B, sixth fret on the G, and you play it like that. And that's the riff. And you just basically um, play that riff through, um, I think it's four times, isn't it? Well, let me just count through, sorry. One, two, three four times. There you go, I was right, should have, should have, uh, should have counted on myself. So that's the riff that we, the two riffs that we play over the top. So that's the bit Noel Gallagher's doing. If you watch the video, you can see him even playing, particularly that shape, you can see it, the seven on the E, five on the B, and, and six on the G. I, I don't know why I do it with my pinky ring finger, makes probably more sense, but that's just habit. Uh, and the chords underneath that Bonehead is doing, we're going to do an F sharp power chord. Then I'm going to go to an E power chord. Then I'm going to an F sharp power chord. Then I'm going to go to an E power chord. Then I'm going to go to an A chord. Then B chord. So let me, so let me just play it through. So rhythmically I'm not doing a lot. These are basically all down picks. Three on that. One on the E. Three more, one more on the E, then on the A chord, two, and then four on that B, and I might do that final um, up, uh, the final strum up sometimes, but that was it with the, as a down. Yeah, 
So. Love that. So simple, but it sounds absolutely fantastic. So we go through that, I believe, eight times. Again, I'm just going to quickly count through. I should have done this before, really. Five, six, yeah, eight times. I should have counted on myself again. So, And that's the verse, basically. We do the verse exactly the same twice. So we go intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, solo. Then we go back and do the verse. Just as I've said, you've got the two riffs. And you've got the chord sequence. That's it. Pre-chorus next. So pre-chorus is an eight bar section and it's gonna have a very bluesy feel to start with. We're gonna play a kind of a 12 bar style bit of E um, blues. So I'm gonna play an E power chord. I'm just gonna hold down the A string second fret and I'm gonna play it with an open E string. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play two of those down picks. Then I'm gonna stretch my ring finger up to the fourth fret on the A string. So it's fourth fret A, open E, and then back. Okay, so that's my that's two beats, so one and two and is how I'd count it through. And I'm gonna do two bars of that, okay? So basically it's gonna be this. That's it. And then I'm going to move to an F sharp chord. basically do the same rhythm there it's actually really hard to hear on the track exactly what bonehead's doing rhythmically um, because he's got so much distortion on but that's what I've been doing with it so hopefully you'll, you'll find that sounds cool you could play less definitely and it would still work but yeah that's that sounds cool to me so I'm just doing down pick, I'm just doing um, eight down picks on each bar and on the third um, down pick and on the seventh down pick yeah, I'm doing a, a bigger strum. So I'm doing a full F sharp chord, not just a power chord there as well. Over the top of that F sharp power chord, um, we do get this just the same as before. Seventh fret on the E, fifth fret on the B, and then sixth fret on the G. Just play through once, okay? Then we're gonna go back and do the E bit again. Then we're gonna do a C sharp seven, another chord that we see quite a lot in Oasis songs. Again, I think Dixie's Dinner, which I mentioned previously. Um, so again, the bonehead part, we're just gonna play the chord, fourth fret bar, six on the D, six on the B. I'm just gonna do down strums for the, for the full two bars. But over the top, we've got a little bit of an arpeggio going on, so I'll go through that. I'm gonna play the D and the G strings, B string, G, D, E, B, then what I'm gonna do is flatten my ring finger down to get sixth fret on the G, then fourth fret on the G, sixth fret on the D, okay? So play that through slowly for those who find it easier to just hear it. Uh, yeah, so that's the riff he plays over. It actually works really well with the uh, melody line as well. But you could just play the chord and it sounds fine. So that's the, that's the pre-chorus, really. There's not much else to say. A couple of bars of E with a bluesy feel. A couple of bars of F sharp with a riff over the top. A couple of bars of E with a bluesy feel. C sharp seven um, with a little bit of an arpeggio. Great, classic bit of Oasis. Uh, chorus. So much like the verse, we have the bonehead part with the chords and we have the Noel Gallagher part with a riff. So let's go through the riff uh, first because that's what we did last time. So really cool riff, so I'll just... Well, if I play it right, it really helps. And then... So, you could do it the same four times, but the, the fourth one is slightly different because it doesn't have a hammer on at the start. You, you uh, literally just play the fourth fret. But let's go through it. So, A string, I'm gonna hammer on second fret to fourth fret. Then I'm gonna play second fret on the D, fourth fret on the A, second fret on the A, open A. Okay, then open A again. Hammer on on the A string two to four. Second fret on the D, fourth fret on the A, second fret on the E. So. Yeah, love it. Abs 
absolutely love that. Sounds really, really, really cool. Um, so as I said, we can literally play that through um, four times exactly the same, but on the track, on the fourth one, on the first hammer on, which is normally, you don't do the hammer on, you just play the fourth fret. So you do the rest of it the same. Fourth fret A, second fret D, fourth fret A, second fret A, open A, open A, this, and then you do the hammer on here. It's two to four on the A string. Second fret D, fourth fret A, and that's when we go to the solo. Up there, do that, another video. Uh, and the chords underneath that, the bonehead is doing, very, very simple chords. Um, we're gonna do D, I'm gonna do the D as a pa uh, bar chord, sorry, up here, because I think it sounds better, and I think that's how he does it, although it's hard to see in the video. You can definitely see him doing the end bit, the, the E to F sharp, but it's harder to see this bit. Anyway, so D, D bar chord, fifth fret bar, and then seventh on the D, the G, and the B. Then to normal A, open A, you can do a bar chord A, that works as well, I just like the way that sounds. Again, it's hard to, it's hard to see, I think he might do this one actually, but I just like that one. Um, so you can do either. E chord next, just an open E, it's definitely an open E. F sharp, it's definitely an F sharp there. Or just down strum, so two on this first one, two on the A, two on the E, and I'm gonna end up probably doing four on that F sharp, and you just repeat that. And that's also what's underneath the solo. So the solo uh, you go through, I'm, I'm gonna go through that in another video. Um, the, uh, there's a bit right here in the solo that's slightly different, which I'll do in the solo video. But effectively, underneath, you're just playing that, and as the solo stops on the 14 on the, on the G, the bonehead part stops, and we just have the Noel Gallagher guitar playing a bit, and then we come back in, uh, you need to, and then you're straight back into the uh, verse. We literally just play through verse, pre-chorus, chorus, just the same as we have, and then the whole outro is played um, over the top of the chorus chord sequence. You're literally just going D, A, E, F sharp. That's it, that's the whole song. So we've got that really nice intro um, uh, kind of uh, arpeggio section with a riffy arpeggio section. Then we've got the verse with the two simple um, riffs uh, or licks, depending on your preference, over the top of a very cool power chord chord sequence. Then we've got the pre-chorus, which is uh, a nice little um, eight bar sequence with that kind of which they did in these early songs, but not so much later on, love that. And it's got that C sharp seven, which is classic bit of Oasis with a nice arpeggio. Then the chorus, really nice, simple chord sequence, D, A, E, and F sharp, with a cracking bit of a Noel Gallagher riffage over the top. It just sounds, it's just great. This is one of those songs I haven't listened to in years. Someone said, do a video on this song, and I listened to it, I was like, oh my God, I love this song so much. So it's been really fun to learn it, because I never learned it 20 years ago when I started playing for, for whatever reason but it's fantastic, really simple. It's only those four sections. The solo is fantastic as well, which is gonna be the next video you'll probably see. So yeah, absolutely love doing this one. Hopefully you've uh, hopefully found the video useful. I mean, this is just such a great song. Definitely go out and learn it. If you play in a band or a covers band, do this song, it's so good. Simple, but it's just cracking bit of, it's, it's just a great little rock tune. You know, and it's one of Oasis' best, I think. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting a bit, um, waffly so let's wrap the video up thanks for watching i really appreciate it um and as usual i appreciate anyone who um you know if you like the video i really appreciate it the same with commenting on it you usually get uh, a few comments on every video and i do genuinely appreciate that also um, appreciate if you like the videos to subscribe to the channel there's lots of guitar content coming all the time from beginner stuff to lots of oasis songs really appreciate that as well and i will see you guys soon and it will probably be for probably more of this song let's face it i'll see you soon bye bye